as I've said on my show in the past, uh, we are we're blessed with one of the worst major newspapers of any uh, uh, big market in the, in uh, in the United States. Here was a headline today of our of our wonderful paper, the Herald Tribune. Zoom in here, there, Austin. Front page of the paper: Hot dog sales hold their own. Okay. <laughs> now, this article on the front page. This is not the cooking section. This is not the food. This article, the first two paragraphs talk about how the hot dog industry is actually up 1.5 percent, whereas all other aspects of the economy are down. The good news is hot dog sales are up because people are looking for for an alternative to a cheaper kind of food. So where they're eschewing steaks, they're now turning to hot dogs. And then the entire rest of the story for the next two pages talks about uh, all the different kind of hot dogs, Chicago dogs, chili dogs, New York dogs. Um, so Matt, uh, are you going to have a, a story on hot dogs anytime soon in The Observer? Or? No, I don't think so. But I can tell you about probably why that story is. Oh, good. Why, why I, I was made... hoping you could. Yeah, OK. Um, I used to be in the uh, daily newspaper business, too. And so um, oftentimes uh, in the newspaper business, they, editors would look for what they would call brighteners, um, <laughs> something that would be offbeat to serve as an antidote to the rest of the front page that is, you know, gloom and doom. People get tired of that. So editors try to get their reporters to be creative, to come up with something that would be a brightener to kind of, um, you know, loosen people up. Might be, somebody might find it humorous. And a lot of times uh, those stories end up in the Monday paper because they are held over from the weekend. There wasn't enough space in the weekend paper. So a lot of times they will end up in the Monday paper, which is often regarded as not very important paper because there's typically not very much news that goes on on Sunday. It's a slow day, kind of a low readership day, so you put your, you know, lowest stuff. Okay, well, I Mondays. didn't know that. You there definitely you told me something <laughs> I didn't know. Now we got it all figured yeah. out. Next Monday, I'm going to be watching and pay attention. Yeah. Um, the, uh, of course, we, we've chronicled also the decline in circulation of the Herald Tribune. They've had a lot of layoffs, and they've sold off SNN and... Uh, that kind of thing, but but I guess it's kind of systemic somewhat to the newspaper industry across the country is a, a decline in circulation or them struggling financially. Is that is that the case? It's a incredibly difficult time in the daily newspaper business. Uh, we have been affected less so in the community weekly niche in the newspaper business, um, principally because uh, we focus on uh, very localized news. And you can contrast that with the daily newspapers that, um, because they're dailies, they have to fill this beast every day. And so they run uh, national and inter international stories as well. Well, today people get all that news on the internet instantaneously. So it has made daily newspapers, a lot of the national and international news, essentially irrelevant. We've read it all. We've already heard it all on TV or read it on the internet by the time it comes out. So that's one thing that it's, uh, dailies are struggling with. And they're also struggling with the fact that news is free now. Um, the internet has made news free and I, I've contended for a long time that one of the biggest mistakes that the newspaper industry made when the internet was taking off was putting all of their daily content online for free. Why, why buy a newspaper now if it's available online for free? Exactly. And, and everybody thought that, well, they got to get it up there. You know, they're going to get eyeballs and it'll turn into advertising. Well, the industry has been trying for 12 years now uh, to figure out how to get advertising online that will pay for this content that it's generating. Hasn't been able to do it. We've, we've finally started to figure out how to do it. It's starting to happen. But what you're seeing in the daily newspaper industry is the daily newspapers all have this huge cost structure uh, because they have presses, these incredibly expensive machinery that they have to keep going to pay for it. So they've got this expensive machinery. Advertising revenues are going down uh, incredibly fast, but they haven't been able to lower their expense structure as fast as revenues are falling. At the same time, you've got internet revenues that are going up, 
but they're not going up near as fast as the as the print advertising revenues are falling. So that they're in this incredible dilemma. Nobody knows when the two lines are going to cross, when internet advertising revenues are going to surpass print advertising revenues. And that's what uh, daily newspapers are struggling with throughout the country. I hear from a lot of people who have canceled their newspaper subscriptions to, to, a day, to the Herald Tribune, and they tell me one of two things, and it's probably the same all over the country. One is what you said. Why should I buy it when I can read it on the internet? The other is <clears throat> some, something on the editorial page that they didn't like or a candidate that they endorsed. And, and I've always wondered, why do these newspapers who are struggling to survive economically get into the business of taking sides in political contests? Because you're necessarily going to upset the other side, and it's poor business. What do you think about newspapers actually getting involved in endorsing candidates? Is that a good idea from a business perspective? Um, I would say yes, uh, and here's why. Um, I have a belief that a newspaper should um, take a stand and be principled about something and, and be an advocate one way or another on its editorial pages. Now, yes, of course, you, risk, you run the risk of offending half your audience. But um, I also know that there are people who hate the stuff that we print on our editorial page, but they'll pick it up and look at it um, just to see what we're saying that week anyway. Now, um, there's another function, of course, that newspapers do besides just taking an editorial position. Uh, the Herald Tribune has a lot of useful information every day that people need. So um, it, it, it works both ways. I mean, it has a useful purpose to keep people informed of what's going on in the community. And there's a, a saying that's been around for a long time that a community is only as strong as its newspaper. So you got to have a newspaper that I, I believe that has takes principles and takes a stand. Okay. When we come back, our final segment with Matt Walsh and our Weasel of the Week.